Hello, chat. How are y'all doing? Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear it in my voice, but I cannot breathe out of my nose. <laughs> I, that's that's an exaggeration. I like I got a little bit of air going in and out of there, but like for the most part, nah. It's just my mouth. So allergies are definitely kicking my butt, but it's okay because we're still gonna stream regardless. Uh, Bit's not gonna be joining us, and Perry's not gonna be joining us. That's because Perry wasn't able to, you know, Perry's doing other stuff in life at the moment, so we're not really going to be able to do any Kingdom Hearts today. So I'm going to try and make it up the best I can. How will I do that? We'll figure it out. Here's the people I got <laughs> in Discord. Hey, y'all. How you doing? Hello. Skibbity. Yeah, that's about what I expected. <laughs> <laughs> and Tessa, we were... Th the one game we have in mind was maybe potentially Sonic Roboblast 2, but we still don't know yet. Yeah. No, and I even just even have it installed. Like, yeah, it would be a whole process to get it set up. So, you it's, know, it's not really a whole process. It's like it's a minutes. whole it's a whole like five hour long process. <laughs> He's lying to you. <laughs> hmm. Play Ultra Sex Jacket. What on earth? <laughs> hmm. We could do Tabletop Simulator. It's been a while. I feel like Pauline would get mad at us, mad at us if yeah, we did Pauline that. Pauline would be mad at us. <laughs> yeah, I know. How about Fear and Hunger? I won't get in trouble with that. What? <laughs> Play Desert Bus Frontiers. Have you seen that yet? I have not. Is this, it a... This, oh, it's a uh, Sonic Frontiers mod that turns it into Desert Bus. Isn't there a new Desert yes. Bus game that, like, is happening? I have no idea. Oh, Jack, it's the multiplayer mod Duck for game. Ultra Kill? Duck Game's delisted, I thought. Uh, it's... It could be soon. It's uh, not right now. okay. Uh, and the, the creators were like, hey, if Duck Game is delisted, I have some ideas in mind for what we could do. So, yeah. it When was the like last time you guys played Roblox? Though. You know what? Now, now, now that Tessodon brought it up... I'm just gonna throw that on just while I think for something better to do. <laughs> because I feel like this is just gonna, the, this first bit of the stream is just gonna be us talking and not really doing too much. All right, I guess I'm reinstalling Roblox because I thought I had it installed, but I don't. Well, I do, but it just keeps having an error. <laughs> oh, damn. So, I'm gonna uninstall that. Jesus Christ. Oh, Sick. something's happening with it. What? <laughs> oh, right. I have to, un I have to like, turn off Steam whenever I have Roblox open because it turns on my VR headset. What the fuck happened to Roblox? Okay. Um, I can't uninstall Roblox. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, it just says an error occurred while starting Roblox. I am not starting Roblox. I am trying to uninstall it. And you want to know what the error is? What is it? The, the error is error. The operation completed successfully. <laughs> Hold on. What is this that you just sent me, Dame? <laughs> Interesting fact. In Undertale, there was an initially a random chance that Papyrus would be vaporized by a solar flare during his battle. <laughs> this was removed because playtesters were overcome with grief and began crying uncontrollably when it occurred. What? <laughs> Uh, very interesting. I didn't know that. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, well, if Roblox is fucked, then let me just pull up something else. Yeah, I, I can't even uninstall it. I'm looking to see, like, where the fuck is it located in the file so I can just, like, delete the files. They just looked at you and they went, no more. I'm Be gone. I'm not this right now. Fuck this. <laughs> Yeah. Whoa, all my shit got leaked. Dragon Dogmas 2 apparently has a shit ton of microtransactions for no good reason. Did you ever, like... Oh, yeah, you didn't block your <laughs> docs information last stream. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. No one gives a shit. And plus, that I it's information that is, like, worthless. I changed my password yeah. so regularly that it wouldn't even matter. 
And as in literally every single time something slightly suspicious happens. The Trent puppet is saying Helldivers. I would play Helldivers so hard right now, man. But no. If you do, I would leave. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Not even joking. Trent's such a hater, chat. You don't understand. I am kind of a hater, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm sure it's a fun game, I just don't like it and don't really care for it at all. It didn't even do nothing to you. My yeah, it didn't do nothing <laughs> to me, I just don't care for it. <laughs> Steam keeps being fucking bad. Did you see that, chat? It's fucking with me. What kind of games are y'all in the mood to play, like, specifically? Shit. That is such a good question. <laughs> Why are we so indecisive today? What is happening? Do you want to spin the wheel? Is that what we want to do? We could do a tier list. <laughs> that might be fun, actually. I just don't know what a tier list, like, what it would be. <laughs> hmm. We could read Homestuck. Guys. Oh. Absolutely. <laughs> Bumble bum bum. I could do some Shadows of Doubt. I feel like that might be fun as a multiplayer experience. Do you guys know what anything about that game? Shadows of Doubt. It's a like open world sandbox uh detective work game. <laughs> Alright, tell me about this. Yeah, we could do some of that. Honestly, I I think I might do that. I know that oh, there's I don't have it. <laughs> no, like that's the thing, is that like it's single player, but the amount of information and clues, like, it's it's a very easy game to backseat on, and it's, like, not, it's not a game where backseating would be, like, discouraged, because it's just like, oh, hey, help me remember shit. <laughs> you start reading Homestuck, I'm gonna take Flunky as a hostage. I've already read Homestuck. <laughs> I know you just mean on stream, but you can't change what, it, what, what has already happened. I've already, it's already just... All of it. Actually, that's a lie. I didn't read Homestuck Squared or 2 or whatever it's called. Anyway, I've decided this is uh, what we're doing now. All right. <laughs> Trust me, it's it's fun. <laughs> it has been a bit since I've played. I mean, it's been fairly recently, but I mean, I just opened it up and then didn't really touch it too much. I'm sorry, is it fucking frozen? <laughs> what is well, going on with my right, computer what's the, today? What's the, what's the next game we're going to decide on? This one's a No, bust. there it is. Okay, there there it is. Yeah, I, I knew it was just my computer being weird. Okay, so first off, allow licensed music. Off. Twitch audience citizens? That's interesting, but we, on, we ain't on Twitch, motherfuckers. All right, let's just do, like, the basic... The very basic, basic thing, just because the cases are different enough so that it's not like a big deal or anything. And then also let me uh, actually get the game's audio on stream. Uh, yeah, sure, we're Antoine Campbell, or Antony Campbell? Antoine. Oh, Antoine. I know Goes to show how what I know. The Sonic Archie comics. Really? Yes. I guess we're non-binary. Coward. Keep going. Isn't that the fucking French guy? Yeah, it's the French <laughs> motherfucker. I hate him. I hate him in everything but the fucking uh. Oh god, what is it? Uh, Archie. In the comics, yeah. Yeah. Pretty art is it Archie? No. Yes. No. Yeah, it is. Yeah. World is generation it? in this takes. He's a not in bit. IDW. But that's what you're thinking. No, not IDW. The other one. Um, the British one? No. <laughs> it's, it's Archie, IDW, and Fleetway. Yeah, it's the British one. <laughs> huh? Fleetway is the one made in Britain. British made something good. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Also, Look it up. Damn. A Sonic the Comic was a British children's comic produced, published by Fleetway. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Fleetway wasn't that bad. 
It's generating a lot of detail right I now, by the it. way. I did. That's the one with the cool supersonic. Oh my yes. god. So hello, what's up, Sonic Rashers? Yeah. These maps take a while to generate just because of like they have so much shit in them. Like this is 110% a detective game. There's like fingerprints and evidence and shit. And all of it's like real time. Like if you're investigating a serial killer, if you're too slow, the serial killer will act will actively be serial killing in like real time. <laughs> He's got a serial kill all over the place. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, here they are simulating, like, the things that happened before we even started playing. <laughs> Enable the tutorial? No. Well, I'll explain how the game works. This is the opening intro, but all you need to know is that the world is owned by Coca-Cola, and it's highly, like, futuristic, semi-noir, like... It's weird. It's weird. It's technically like future technology, but it's not at all. There we go. You ever think maybe it's not weird? Maybe you're just too normal? Think about that. <laughs> I doubt that's true. Right, so <laughs> this is just the <laughs> intro. They're just showing you how the controls work. Uh, light switch. There we go. Hurry up, Noah! The serial killer's on the loose! Oh my god! Where am I? There we go. And now a phone's gonna ring. Right? The phone's gonna ring. Yeah, there it is. Hello. Goodbye. What's that? You've been through <laughs> this before. Yeah. What? Oh, find. Huh? Find Rhea Vargas. You didn't. You can tell what that was said. Look at what that looks like. <laughs> That's all I'm uh -huh. saying. It looks like fuck <laughs> to me. <laughs> <laughs> Just, oh, I kind of see it, but if I don't the read, eye is very clearly. I don't there. read. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So this is the evidence board. This is where we put all our evidence, and we can put stuff that doesn't even fucking matter up on here. So it's kind of dangerous. Awesome. Never I heard of her. It. This is a job. It's a lousy way to do business. Now I gotta find paper clips. It's just a shopping list. Hey, hairpin. And anything in here? No. No. Nothing in there. Oh, there's a knife. That'll be helpful. Uh, I can't wait to and stab people. That's helpful for. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Oh my god, there's literally one right there. Oh, right, I'm supposed to look at the city directory and look up Rhea Vargas for more actual, like, stuff. Okay, so V, Vargas. There we go, R Vargas. Alright. That's the address that we gotta go ahead and investigate. Follow your dreams, be that murderer, stay both figure slay both figuratively and literally. Jesus. I wanna kill the one. I have two file bo boxes for some reason. That's bizarre. There we go. Alright, time to get my detective tools. There we go. <laughs> Why are your detective tools locked without the key? <laughs> I left him at the other apartment, is what it said. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I might as well see if there's anything else I can collect. Oh, that's just a TV. Alright, we're good to go. Oh, wait. There we go. Alright, so. We have to go check out this address to see what's up. You can fucking GPS your way there with this arrow. <laughs> Nudge, I got an idea. You guys should open a NGL and answer them on stream. Do you know what he's talking about? <laughs> I have no idea what he's talking about. NGL is an anonymous, anonymous like question giver thing. So anybody can just open it up and be like, Hey Noah, what are your thoughts on blank? And you have to answer honestly, because... I don't know. Huh. Tests I did it before, and like 80% of the questions were freaky shit. 
Then nah, I think I'm good. Did this guy just close the door on me? He's lucky there's so many people around, because I grabbed that utility knife for a reason. Also, I'm wet, so that's great. Nice, man. Alright, where's this apartment? Okay, it's over here. Hey, dude, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Hey. Ooh. I'm shaking at him. Alright. Wait, 17th floor? I'm taking the elevator. Fuck that shit. You want me to climb up those many- that many stairs? You can't make me. It's not possible. Five. One. Those were my Twitter go. followers, friend. They all freak me. I know the Dungeon Prodders will behave. <laughs> <laughs> Probably right. You know what? Yeah. Should I read Tessa's uh, questions here on stream right now? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? That's a, that's what that's the point of downtime variety is just chilling out a little bit. Also, what's up, Dorcas? All right. Let's go check in on her. Yeah, no, she's gone. All right. Oh. That was underneath the carpet. An expended 8mm cartridge. Usually found in pistols. That's already evidence. Which means she's probably dead when we go in there. Let me... Hello. Oh, okay, we gotta unlock it. Alright. Oh, wow. That's a lot of cartridges. Well, yeah, definitely dead. That's kind of the whole point of the game. Is this teardown? Nope, this is Shadows of Doubt. Alright. First, let's take the fingerprints, because that'll be helpful. Inspect. Unknown citizen. What do you mean? This is Rio Vargas. Bullet wound from ammunition. Yep, okay, so. Same as the stuff that's being found on the crime scene. Oh, I gotta keep searching. And there's the autopsy. Alright, so I have this scanner here, and this scans for, like, fingerprints and stuff. If we look at the unknown citizen's fingertip type, it's type A. I'm turning off this fucking TV. Shut up. Alright. So first off, we should probably measure this. So it's boots, size, foot, nine. Size 9 on the feet. And the body was size 8. Which means that that's information that we can get about the killer. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on a sticky note. Throw it over with the other evidence. I guess the next thing we can do is check for fingerprints mainly. Like on the doors and stuff. Okay, yep, we got type B fingerprints, which means that either someone lives here, or... Oh, this is open for some reason. Oh, it's the safe code. Alright. So we can go check inside the safe, see what's up with that. Oh, it's already open. How scandalous a crumpled up piece of paper. What did you just say? Huh? Scandalous. What, what, did it sound like I said something sus? I was just talking about the safe. There wasn't nothing in there. Are you, are you sure you're using the word scandalous correctly? <laughs> what? Did I say scandalous? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm so zoned out, I didn't even realize. Alright. How scandalous. Anyway. Bro, that fucking safe. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, okay, that's just business stuff. Oh, there's a diary right here. This could be helpful. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to read this. 
This is supposed to help the group leader said so, don't know. But I'm supposed to put down... Glover said it sounded like a good idea. Everyone sounds like... Glover? Glover. You gotta Glover. love the glove. Sounds like a good idea when they... Can't when wait they to play that it. on stream. <laughs> Trying to cut down on starch, not you easy. Actually? Good to Diddy. Went walking Probably with not, Glover. No. Alright, oh. so Glover is someone that we could keep an idea Donald of. Donald Glover? I can't believe the Perhaps. murderer was a glove with a ball. <laughs> From an old 3D platformer. All right, so that this is another place that we could potentially go to. His name was Glover. Thank you for recently contacting or request a life insurance policy. Oh, okay. And bam, there's the ID. So now we know exactly who this person is. All the information's tied properly. Oh, their purse. I mean, they're dead, so I might as well take their money and their key. Alright. Normal detective behavior. That indeed. Alright, anything in the files? Alright, Kazmira May is an employer. Okay, this is just documents. Uh... Optometrist papers. Okay, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. There's probably nothing in here. Plus, this is just the start, so... There's easier ways to get information. Such as... Oh. Yeah, that's a pretty big pool of blood. The telephone. Would you we want to do a stream for Terraria or Stardew Valley or even Animal Crossing? Noah cannot get into Stardew Valley no matter how much he tries. <laughs> yeah. The new update's tempting, though. And also, I will probably stream Terraria when the new update comes out. Anyway. Who was the last caller? Last caller was... 3444211. Alright. There's the telephone call. It was at... Okay, so it was yesterday, nearly at midnight. The death happened almost immediately after that. So that's pretty suspicious. No, will you be trying Sparking Zero when it drops? Sparking Zero? What is that? I, don't, I haven't heard the of that Dragon yet. Ball game. Yeah, the Dragon Ball game. Oh, I haven't watched any Dragon Ball stuff, actually. I'm not, like, I'm not too tied to Dragon Ball. I don't know much about it. So, I do not believe I really would be. I played Ultra Kill, right? Yes, I did. And, uh, we're currently having EMG go through all of Ultra Kill over on his channel. Alright. I'm gonna call this number, see who picks up. Yeah, they might not answer it. It's pretty late at night. Yeah, they're not here. Alright. Well. There's only one thing that I really could do now, aside from all that, is just check for potentially other fingerprints. But I'm pretty sure it's just going to be type A and type B. Yeah, it's just looking like type A, type B. Any food in the fridge? Uh, nope. Just stuff that needs to be cooked. Alright, in that case... I believe I will go ahead and leave. Unless they want me to... Do you want me to scan more? Put it right there. Maybe inside the vault. The code was what? This is just the tutorial. I'll be fine. It, it'll let me just keep going forward if I just leave anyway. Alright. So. We have a couple of leads. 
I think the best thing to do is to try and find Glover. And the only lead we really have on that is the workplace of Rhea Vargas, which is Kingsmaroak Corporation. So I'm going to go ahead okay, and Okay, if you're there. listening, if you're Marquee. looking for Glover, you're going to need to crack out the N64 for that one. Sorry, Chief. Damn it. I can't believe this. I've been ruined. This is a fren forensics game, basically. It's also like interrogation and stuff. Or in my case, generally just breaking into people's homes, making judgment calls, and then arresting them and call and then just like walking away while the handcuffs are on them. <laughs> That's kind of how you solve cases in this. You just prematurely arrest the person, then you turn in the papers and pray that they're, uh, you know, the criminal. <laughs> Whoa, buddy. Wait, I could probably ask about... Eh, whatever, I'm already gone. I was about to say I could probably ask the neighbors stuff, but... I'm already out of here. Oh. It's locked. How many lockpicks do I got? Is there a way to check? You like 30. From your detective toolkit thing. Every damn night. <laughs> what was that? It's probably just someone complaining about their life. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> shit! They all Jesus appeared God, out of my... nowhere! God damn! They got shit on me! They got shit on me! They shot immediately. Why'd they do that? The people in this area are violent. This is like a dystopian world. Yeah? Alright. I also gotta get warm. I slipped. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think we're good. I don't think they'll recognize me anymore. There's a guy out there repeatedly punching old ladies in the face, and you're <laughs> talking about video games. Hurry up, detective. Fair enough. Alright. Are they gonna let me trespass respectfully now? Yes, they will. Alright. Oh, I'm shivering because it's cold. Do they have a towel in Who here, maybe? Who fuck it's cold? You're on a case. Well, no, the, like, you slowly lose health if you if you get too cold. And also, it's making me shiver, and it's fucking with me. Let's see. Like, uh, even if you weren't shot right now, you'd start losing health if you get too cold? It, yeah, but that's like... That's it, a little it, silly. It's like, if... It's to keep you from staying out in the rain for too long without going near, like, a fire, without drying yourself off. Uh, yeah. I mean, I might as well try and... You can't really pick the locks on this, can you? Oh, wait, no, you can. Just doesn't really tell you at first. Oh, you just pick the combination. That makes sense. Alright. Anything... There's a key. More money. A diamond?! Fuck yeah, she looks. Yeah, you're not exactly the good guy in this game, but that's okay. Nope! <laughs> it's okay. That's not gonna be like an issue. Alright, let's see. I thought that was a gun. <laughs> Type C. Type D, type E, type F, type G. Hey, Rhea Vargas. Okay, oh. here we go. So now we can use our keypad. 987 something. Or is that just the safe and it doesn't match? Uh, People are dumb in this game and only ever use yeah. one type of password. <laughs> that makes sense. What is this? Rhea Vargas fingerprints. 
and it's on this letter. Penny. Potential lover. They're gay. There we go. The murderer right. was homophobic. It's all starting to make sense now. Oh my <laughs> god, I'm not picking more locks. Are you kidding me? I'm not in here. Okay, you know what? You know what? I need to figure this out. Ah, damn it. Come on. Wade. R. Wade. Alright. I gotta find the passcode for this thing. Jesus Christ, all the fucking right notifications. <laughs> yeah, so that's what happens Select when you skip. Scan. Oh, hold on. Abraham Lincoln. Taosu, this is another place we could find information. Rachel Wade. Alright. Paxton McConnell. Glover. Or Glover. No, Glover. I just say Glover. Glover is a receptionist. <laughs> Glover. <laughs> Glover. I like that. That was the last phone call that they made, I think, is what it was. No, it wasn't. Where where did we get Glover from? Uh, it was... I don't remember. All right, well, regardless, I'll go ahead and connect these two right now. There we go. So I this is right. Glover. Okay, well, we at least know one person in here. All right. There's Rhea Vargas. So HR. All right. What was her name? Valeria or whatever. Penny. All Penny. Right. Wait, Penny. Penny's a really important one. <laughs> Type D fingerprints. Oh wait, we can see their fingerprints from here. Yeah, apparently. Okay, then we just need to look for type B and rule out basically everyone who works here. Type E, type A, type I, type F, type H, type C. Okay. So no one at work killed her. That's just stock paper. Okay. There's Penny. Honestly... If it's no one at work, then investigating around here any longer is not going to be worth it. Yeah. I say we get the fuck out of here. Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. Whatever. <laughs> and... All right. I can't She's lock active. it. I picked the lock. It's okay. They don't... It doesn't ever matter. Um... Okay. We should probably find a telephone booth now. So that I can use a state directory to try and get in touch with one of the two witnesses that we have. Or not witnesses, but, you know, people that knew the victim. <laughs> there suspects. We go. Yes. Except they're not suspects because their fingerprints weren't on the scene of the crime. Because I am... Get rid of those notifications. They're starting to bother me. <laughs> I can try and see. Like, maybe in the settings. Any interface. It's because I, like, started a new file, is the thing. Yeah. Like, try interface. Yeah, it's already off. Huh. Alright. Hey, yeah, that worked. Yeah, no. it's not going to get rid that of that. That sucks. <laughs> Alright, it's fine. Uh, let's see. So, we are looking for a Gonzalez Penny. G. P. Gonzalez. Lives at 703 Frobiov House. Alright. And then what about Lindsay?
Where are you? Am I stupid? Did I miss it? Oh, wait, no, it's probably, like, down here. G. Lindsay. Oh, same apartment complex. All right. Well, that'll make it easy. I guess we'll just go ahead and track the one on the first floor first. And then we'll go see what's up. Be like Batman, go into the vents and sneak around at the cameras? I guess I could. It was just so extra. Alright, what time is it? Okay, it's like 3 in the morning. I can totally knock on the door. Can't break in. Alright. You gotta hit them with the flashlight the moment they open the door. Alright. Hey, what's up? Evening, what's your name? I'm Glover Lindsley. Why? Do you know this person? That's my colleague, Rhea Vargas. They work at King's Marquee Corporation. Saw them about Wheeler Heights. That's around where they live. Have you seen or heard anything unusual? There was a shifty character about... Yeah, okay. Shifty character at around Martin Parade. Wait, hold on. Martin Parade. Alright, I'm gonna warn him. Rhea is dead. I knew something bad was going to happen. You have to help. Rhea mentioned someone called Julian Rose. Hey, there we go. An actual lead. I think Julian's a hired killer. Once saw them at that place, Cheerful Actor Tavern. You have to stop them before they come for me. How does it come for you, bro? Here's 200 crows that Rhea left me. This is this entire game is about like corporate like companies fucking trying to kill each other. So, uh oh, there we go. Thank you for the information, Mister. Also, there's a sync disc in my mailbox if you want it. All right. Goodbye. I don't want the sync disc. What's it do? It's an upgrade. Okay, well, if they're going to oh. show me exactly where it is, I might as well <laughs> grab it. Oh, my inventory's full. There we go. All right. Julian Rose is going to get killed. That's oh. not a game. That's capitalism. Let's see. This is interesting. If I played Cruelty Squad, I have not, actually. <laughs> I had to think about it for a second. I was thinking about uh, Post Void, which is a different game. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Let's get the directory. Because if I have their name, then I have their address. What was it? Rose? Julian Rose R. Yeah, here we go. Alright, there's the house. Alright. Get directions to there, and then we're gonna be good to go. Oh. <laughs> oh, you made it. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Alright. Oh my god. Here <laughs> we go. The notifications list just gets bigger. <clears throat> oh, it's gone. Okay. Alright. We have a knife, just to let you remember, just to let you know that. Very tiny knife. Yeah, it won't do much, but it's okay. Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> Tiny. Unknown okay, citizen. there's two people in here. Evening, what's your name? Hello, I'm Priscilla Hobson. Do you know this person? Sure, that's my partner. Julia. He is left. <laughs> really into nature. <laughs> Just. Oh, okay. So that's you? All right. <laughs> he said just put that down, so we saw that. You know what that means. He just said calm down. What are you doing? Do you know this person? Nothing to do with you. Yeah, okay. Whoa! That's why I need the knife. Alright. There you go, you motherfucker. Alright, first off, fingerprints. Alright. What are your fingerprints? Where are they? Unknown citizen. Type B. Yeah, you're fucked. You're fucked. Give me your gun. I know you have it. Come on. Search. Yep, there it is. Lazarus 5 semi-automatic pistol. You are done, buddy. Give me your money. Give me your keys. But who hired him? That's... I don't need to know. <laughs> That's Thankfully. shitty. Yep. I'm arresting you on suspicion of murder. Got any spare change? <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna leave him there. We just need to go to City Hall now. <laughs> okay. Oh, right, elevator. We're really tie up, I forgot about that. Because, let me get this straight. We got where he lives, who he is, uh, the evidence that put him on the scene of the crime, the weapon he used to kill the individual. I think we're good. But just in case, I'm going to grab the fingerprint so that I can use that. Oh, I just now am making a comment on those prints. All right. Here we go. All right, search city hall ground floor. Apparently, if you say stab, the comment gets censored. <laughs> huh. Just warning. That's bizarre. Silver Eye said to stab that guy, and it just got censored. Huh. What do you know? Alright, give me a case. But the fuck word is completely fine. <laughs> Are they seriously not gonna give me a case? Okay, we're playing something else. The game fucking softlocked because I was speedrunning through the tutorial. That sucks. <laughs> Alright, well. What do we play now? Binding of Isaac. I want to do a funny run. <laughs> that sucks. I like this game, too. It's super fun when it doesn't break. I solved the case and everything. Alright. It gets more advanced, like, as you play. Like, eventually it starts becoming, like, some Sherlock shit with, like, uh codes and shit that you gotta do. Alright, you know what? Yeah, it's been forever since I've played Binding of Isaac. I might as well. Why not? Oh, new version of Repentagon. Well, I gotta update it first.
you'll gift me Cruelty Squad because you think it would be really funny to see me play it on a stream? If you gift it to me, then I will make it a stream. Nope. Oh. Alright. Is Isaac ready? Is it ready to start up, like, actually? There we go. Alright, just play Minecraft. I have nothing to say about Isaac. Damn, you went from having something to having nothing. Isaac kept to himself. It's a little legit. This happens every time you play Isaac. I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I, I love don't play Isaac. Isaac that often. Yeah, I love Isaac. It's just I have nothing to comment on. Fair enough. Hmm. Who should I play? Tainted Apollyon isn't that good. <laughs> I don't want to play him. Uh... You know what? Let's take Bethany to, uh... To the Beast. It just feels appropriate. Oh, damn. This wasn't even a room with enemies. Hey, look, Trent, it's Bomberman. Absolutely not. Fuck Bomberman. <laughs> Bro does not like bombing they mans. Alright, I'll keep in mind that all those chests exist, but for now. Oh, shit. Alright, so if we're going beast, it's best to skip item rooms that you don't need. Oh. And I think if I want to get planetarium chances, I should probably go ahead and start locking that in pretty soon. Well, I heard about the madness, uh, mon madness, pro madness combat project nexus. I have heard of it. I've actually played it with Trent. We had it. We didn't finish it though. Now I think about it. I finished it. I did not finish it. <laughs> So that would be something cool as well. Is this a roguelike? This, this is a roguelike. This is like the roguelike. Yeah. <laughs> this Bethany hair mod thing is freaking me out. I. It's so I, wacky, ain't it? It's I don't funny. like it. <laughs> I just think it's funny. It's fine. Damn, are you like playing something in the background? Huh? I hear voices sometimes from your mic. Oh, sorry. It's the okay. voices. Which one is this one? Like famine or something? Yeah, it's famine. Hello, famine. You must die. Nope. Nope. Just saw Legos. Yeah, I have. I don't have much. Like, I don't have any gameplay mods on, really. I just have, like, the obvious ones, like external item descriptions, and then just a bunch of, like, visual and audio changes. Uh, Cube of Meat is an orbital. It's better than nothing. Also, Curse of the Blind if I don't go alternate floor this time, so... Let's try and farm for maybe a secret room. And an item? I guess we'll be able to see. I could try Curse Room. Okay, so the room could be there. I don't want to test. It's one, two, three. So, so like one second across from there. Hey! No, oh, it's just walnut. A key? Ah, nah. They ain't gonna give me nothing. Even when I try for it. I guess one last thing we could do is try the, um, sack room. Or not the sacrifice room, the curse room. There we go. Ooh. 
Okay, so here's the thing. Cursed Eye is really not that bad, especially if you can get chops later on. I'm gonna take it. It's pretty easy to deal with. Just don't get hit. <laughs> it's as simple as that. So proud of you, Noah, for telling your viewers that they have a skill issue. Uh, exactly. Okay, so I won't be able to make it to alt floor this time, which means that we're going to be on blinds for this next floor. So that is another one where I am definitely not getting the treasure room, unless we somehow get the, uh, like, what is it? 20% planetarium chance here? Yeah, 20%. We also need keys. We need keys pretty badly. There we go. I will take any item to start these uh, floors off with. Also, nice, we finally got a key and a bomb. Whoa, okay, this is a bit dangerous. So you may notice I have 100% angel deal. Oh my god, I can't believe I just wasted that. That was kind of crazy. Okay, well, this <laughs> is Montezuma's Revenge. Wait, hold on, this is cracked. Hold on, Montezuma's Revenge is actually really good to have early on like this. Yeah, no, that's actually not that bad. And we still have the 30% chance for- AND I GOT THE PLANETARIUM! Okay, so it would- it would have been fine anyway. Holy crap, I wasn't expecting the planetarium. It kind of sucks it's blind, but I mean... I don't really have chances for rerolls. I might save that until after the boss just to see, though. And no, it wouldn't be worth it. Blinds aren't worth rerolling. It just get, removes like slots. Oh, it was Saturnus. Okay, that's not half bad. We're actually doing pretty good for this run. This has potential to be pretty strong. Especially if we can get those angel deals. You always forget about how much of the Binding Isaac is centered around literal shit. Yeah, it's it's quite a bit of the game. There we go. Get rid of that guy. If you're forgetting that part, you probably aren't a true Binding Isaac fan. <laughs> that. Oh! Come on. There we go. Alright, what's through here? Uh, golden key. Is it worth it? I don't think it is. There's really not many things that I would need that for. Oh, okay. Took more damage. Which means now we can't even go into the curse room. I'll save my bomb, because I feel like I'll need it. Okay, yeah, it's not really worth it to use that in boss fights, exactly. Maybe ones that have, like, long wait times. And no angel. An HP up. That's good, especially considering we're Bethany. Soul hearts do not work on us. Never actually played The Binding of Isaac. Oh, dang. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, the DLC, it's got, like, quite a lot of DLC. I will say that. But, I mean, the DLC's worth it. Except, like, the Afterbirth ones. And you do need to have all previous DLC for the newer DLC to work. But I think it's overall worth it because Repentance is basically a sequel. Like, like with how much shit they added in, it's basically Binding Isaac 2. Alright, please don't be a bad pill. Help. I feel like... I feel like that was scripted. Like, 
I feel like the game's setting me up for failure. There we go. I'm gonna go now because I'm very tired and I have nothing to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll try. see you later then. Goodbye. I did not mean to pick up that half heart. I'm only gonna do one run of this, really. Because I do want to try other stuff as well. It's just I decided, you know what, I might as well try and get a Bethany mark done. Have I played Cuphead? I have played Cuphead. I have it on my Switch. Also, I'm not going to be playing Mapman Optimal right now. Just to let you guys know. Please be good. It's... Eh, whatever. Shot speed is kind of irrelevant. I did not mean to do that. Alright, cool. So I need to find a key now. Thankfully, it should be fairly easy. There should be accessibility to flight. Yeah, I hear this. So now I should be able to go into the curse room for free. Unless I'm not... What? Okay, there we go. Fix mini pal size. Oh, you're right. Hold on. There we go. Alright. We're good now. Okay, there was nothing in here. That's a bit unfortunate. Uh, where could secret room be? I do have a feeling. Yeah, I definitely have a feeling as to where it could be. I'm not gonna grab it just yet. Okay, there's the boss. I say let's wait it out, see if we can get an opportunity where we could maybe get extra deal chance from like a secret room beggar or something like that. I mean, who knows? There might be a beggar on this next floor as well. Oh, those purple flames will only fire one time, by the way. It's a homing shot, so you got to be careful, but it'll still only fire like one time. All right, we need the key piece because of the route we're doing. I'll grab that. Damn. And also for the people that don't play Isaac, I'm not really explaining stuff very well, but this is like the newest uh, route you can do for the like, quote unquote, final boss of the game. There's a bunch of final bosses in this game, but like, this is just the last one they added and it feels like, thematically, like, you know, the last one. Alright, there we go. That was nothing but spiders last time, if I remember. Did not mean to bring up the console. Uh, let's fight the Mirror Dimension boss. And also just get some more, uh, wisps, if possible. So, up here... There we go. Okay, there we go. And then just get rid of all these leech guys. Well, if I could, Jesus Christ. All right, there we go. Anything in here? Yes. God damn. Like I said, y'all, I ain't the best at this game. Alright, let's see what the boss is. Oh, it's just Rainmaker. We'll be fine. I say, and I might die to him, like, right now. Nah, we're good, we're good. Uh, damage up and a health up. That's perfect for this character. Alright, let me try and see what I can do here. 
Well, I'm definitely getting enough money for the shop, so that's good. I can maybe potentially reroll that if there's nothing in the uh if there's nothing in the secret room. Rerolls are pretty powerful and I would like to hold on to it, but this run feels pretty weak, so I'm I'm kind of rushing to try and get something good. <laughs> And then we can charge up one more time with this. I remember this be an easy room anyway, so. And back to the portal. I, and I just wasted the reroll. Oh my god, I can't believe I fat fingered that so hard. A bit silly. A bit silly indeed. But we got a key, so we can go in here now. Uh, rocket in a jar. Is not terrible. I like my chances with the blind more. Play-Doh cookie! Hey, that's not bad. That's actually pretty fucking good. You see Penguin Zero made a new comment with Bad Egg, I think is what they're called. Ha! Huh, I did not see that. I know that, uh... That guy's been doing a, quite a few, like, uh... Comic stuff. Like, I think he has one called God Slap or something. You know what? Tear Detonator's actually fucking awesome with this. It's actually awesome with this setup. And I'll save my money even though Buddy in a Box is... Eh. It's conjoined progress and that's almost always worth it. Uh... No, I won't. I won't. I need the emergency money. What I will do is try and predict, uh, predict where the secret room is. The top secret room, rather. I think it's right here. Nope, I tried. Oh, wow. That's actually not half bad. Also, Ring of Tears is fucking doing wonders right now. Hey, and I got the angel. And a tears up. You love to see it. Crown of Light! Oh, it's so over. It's so over. It's so over. They have no idea. That was the item. That was the item I was waiting for. Now I teleport out. That was not intentional. I want to make that very clear. <laughs> I was caught off guard. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's fine. All right. We have the key pieces, right? We're trying to go to Mother, so we should go down here. Wait, no, we're not trying to go to Mother, we're trying to go to Beast. I mean, Beast is just another version of Mother, so it's whatever. There's like four bosses in this game that are all different versions of Mom. Plague Seeker. That's the name of it? Huh. Here we go. Uh, ooh, that's a crane machine. Crane game isn't that bad. But I think I'll stick with whatever's going on here for a little bit. See what's up. See what I can do. This setup's actually not doing half bad in all honesty. Uh, definitely gonna go grab this item. Luckfoot, that's all pills are good. And I think that's worth it over Lodestone. We're fine. That was worth it. I'd much rather had that over tier modifiers that I can already access through, uh, Play-Doh cookie. Might as well open this, just for the flex. Whoa! Hold on, and the tier detonator tiers detonate, uh, the tier detonator wisps actually, like, detonate when, uh, they explode. I didn't know that. It's pretty dang cool.
There we go. In here somewhere. All right, well, there's another key. There's a bunch of money. That's a pretty good reason to. Very likely chance that this is secret room. Yeah. Knew it. Ooh, that's rigging. How many hearts are in there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I could play the game until the machine explodes, probably. Which means I'm definitely getting another key, so I might as well go in here just see what's up. Alabasta box. Or alabaster. <coughs> so this is a heart container up, so obviously I'm going to take it. Hmm... I don't know. I don't know if that's very worth it. I will buy this key, though. And that keeps me above 15 coins, so we should be fine. It should be all good. You know, I might as well go in here now that I know I don't... <gasps> it was worth it. That's Guppy. Nice. That is a 50-50 chance to revive on, hit on taking lethal damage. It is a very good item. And I got blood bag? Holy shit, dude. You know what? I'm feeling like lucky even. I might like try and get that sticky nickel first. Thank you. And then play this guy a little bit. What's the simplified story to Binding of Isaac? Box. Worth it, in my opinion. Uh, the plot of the game is basically that Isaac got scared of his mom being, like, crazy, crazy, like, radical, um, religious. To the point to where, like, he started thinking that she, she was gonna, like, kill him. And so he locked himself in his toy chest, and this entire game takes place in his head while he, like, suffocates to death. And that's the plot. That's the simplified plot. But that's why all the endings are, like, so fucking weird and different. It's just because, you know, he's he's dying. He's having a fucking fever dream. There we go. Uh, that's just death. Okay, there we go. There we go, there we go. Local boy escapes mother with cultic tendencies. That's a good way of putting it. Alright. There we go, that's the strategy. Now it's charmed. Oh my goodness. Don't do that, man. Man. Tear Detonator is actually kind of doing a really good job right now. This isn't a strong build or anything, but it's just, it's, it's good. It's a good build. I uh, will take the tears up, we'll take the shot speed up. Uh, what do you guys say about Devil Deals? Should I abandon Angel Deals and go ahead and go Devils? Or should I not risk it because Bethany has low defense? I think I won't risk it. Just because I already got Crown of Light. Uh, who can say that we can get another quality four in the Angel Shop? That's kind of the vibe I'm feeling right now is just kind of waiting and seeing if we get anything like really, really good from the Angel Rooms. I mean, we already did, but you know, see how far we can push it. Because if we start hitting, like, the later stages of the levels and the angel rooms haven't been doing it and I get a devil room, then, honestly, I don't really see much of a reason to not pick it. That. I just gotta find the other buttons. There we go. That room would have an item in it, by the way, so I can keep that in mind if I potentially think that it's fine losing the bonus from my crown of light. Which, honestly, that won't really happen. At least not until I get 
on something that it can actually heal me all the way back up to get my full health. Oh, did I hear a key drop? I did. Nice. Still have yet to find the item room. Oh my god. I can't believe that just happened. Anyway. Down here, through here. Ooh, telescope lens. 9% planetarium chance, additional 15 have hasn't been entered yet. Planetariums can now spawn on womb and corpse. I'll take it just so I can drop it in a boss room as a trinket that I can use later. Uh, spider butt is not that great. Harlequin baby is more tears on the screen, so it's decent. Oh, we have a restock. Um, that is... Hive Mind? I think I'll skip Mystery Gift. Interesting. God damn it. Not mean to do that. Now my Angel Chance is down the drain. Alright, I unlocked that at least. And I can double my number of bombs so I can use one right here. Oh, I didn't need to do that. They have bombs right there. I'm silly. That's flight. So that's good. I bet it's that room right there. Oh, what the fuck? What was that? Yeah, there we go. Jesus. Whoa, dude. Chill out. Alright, first off, let's drop this trinket in here. I don't think it gives me anything other than an extra life, maybe? I could be wrong on that, but... You know, it would be nice to try and see. Grab this. Go into the secret room. And get rock bottom. Missing page. Taking damage down to one heart damages all enemies in the room. It's okay, I guess. It's nothing crazy, but I mean, you know. It doesn't gotta be. Ooh. Ooh. More conjoined progress. That would be really good with tear detonator. Yep, that's all I gotta say. Oh, wait, no, 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 I need to go grab the knife piece. If you like games like Hollow Knight, you should ha play Have a Nice Death. I've seen that, I think. I think Paul's, like, played that game. Either Paul or Ritu, or both. But I have seen Have a Nice Death. It looks like it would be very fun. I really should try it out. Alright. Let's do the chase sequence and get out of here. I don't got any of my items, even though it says I do. And you can see my wisps, but my wisps stay with me because they're my homies. All right. I remember thinking this used to be pretty hard, but honestly, it's not as hard as you would think. Like, once you learn about the invincibility frames trick, like, in between doorways, and just, like, how slow Mom actually is when she isn't charging, it's fairly easy to do this part. Whoa! I must have misinputted there for a second. Whoa, I got a luck penny from this? Damn. Ain't that lucky. Nope. Nope. Oh my god. Oh, but I got crawl space from it, so it's worth. 
What was in it? Stitches. Oh, I'm sorry, Stitches. You're good, but you're not tear detonator. I can't believe I turned down Stitcherton. It's okay, though. We'll live on. Not if I have anything to say about it. Oh, no! Why would you do this? Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I had to cough. Alright, let's do this. Oh, it's this motherfucker. Right, I teleport when I get hit. I forgot about that. It's almost like I mentioned that I shouldn't hold down the charge on this charge shot. Right at the beginning, I said that. Oh my god. There we go. Bar of soap. One, two. Uh, okay, yeah, we're free to go. Come on. Of the unknown? Alright, I guess I just gotta keep going until my crown of light turns back on. Jesus. Full mapping effect. That's good. That's great, actually. Let me go ahead and take that card back. Thank you very much. Oh, no. I'll do it like this. There we go. Grab that. It's just a giant troll bomb. So head out. Uh-oh. I don't like what that sign means. I think it means we're close to defeating, Ashley. Whoa. I'm actually kind of scared to die right here. Am I stupid? Am I throwing? Oh my god, I'm so tired. I swear to god I'm not throwing for content. I swear to god. I can't believe what's happening right now. Alright. Bam! True Jedi, motherfucker. Okay, I don't have flight. Please don't do nothing to me. I swear to God. How much damage am I going to be taking? I was not prepared for mausoleum. I was not at all prepared for mausoleum. I thought I was. I wasn't. Give me some hearts, please. Hearts, 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 hearts. It's because I don't have my crown of light bonus. That's the reason why. Remember troll face question? Anyone remember those movies? I believe I do. An enemy in the back deals double damage and causes bleeding? With tear detonator? That sounds pretty good, in all honesty. Doesn't sound like a bad idea at all. Oh yeah, no. That's crazy. Right over here. They weren't gonna hit me with that shit. Whatever enemy, whatever enemy that was, I cannot imagine something like that existing, like in real life outside of the just like one basic use that it has. Uh, I'll grab this. I'll grab this to multiply my money, and. And I'll blow up the shopkeeper for the percentage chance, even though it's not much. A 14 is better than an 11. There we go. Friends till the end, spawn spies and flyers to fight for you. So let's see what's here. Cool. 
Thank you so much. All right. Um, I need to find the skull that has... I need to find the skull that has the uh, fool card in it. Yeah, well, it's definitely nowhere near the boss exit, so let me go ahead and check around for more skulls. None here, none in here. There's definitely not in the secret room. Uh, nothing there. Where is it? Hmm. Yeah, no, he's already got it, so I guess all I can really do is check a couple more rooms, see where this uh, X marks the spot spot would be. Am I confused? Is this because it's Mausoleum 1? I think I'm very confused. Never mind. For some reason, I was thinking that this was the Mausoleum 2 fight. I see no, I'm tired. Jeez. Alright, there. Through here. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and do this. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, shit. There we go. Alright, thank god. Oh my god, did I just die? I did not. Please give me Mr. Dolly. Holy shit. What do I plan on doing for spring break? Relaxing. Mainly. Because what else can a man do? Yeah, I'm at one heart. That's not good. Alright. Whoa! Whoa, 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 I just died. I respawned because I'm fucking goaded. Yeah, they just can't, they can't do anything to me. I'm just built that different. Grab that. Go down here, go down here, go down here, go through here. Oh, these motherfuckers. I just run in them at <laughs> I just run into them at a certain point. Grab that. Ah, oh, damn it, I thought I could grab it. I couldn't, though. Oh my god, not these fuckers. Motherfuckers without eyes. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, dude. Alright, there we go. Go this way, down, right. Are you serious? Sorry. What happened? I'm trying to get Gilded Blackstone on the server. I'm just trying to get fucking lava. Uh, oh my god. Okay, finally, there's the item room. Ooh, it's a reroll machine. I did not mean to take some pointy rib, but I guess that's what I have now, so... Hooray! Alright. Go down here. There's no way I'm walking into spikes so often like that. Guys, I think I'm actually exhausted.
That's insane. <laughs> I don't think I can focus on Isaac if I'm, like, actually slipping up this bad. I did say I was just going to be doing one run regardless. It sucks that I was just, like, brain farting right there at the end, but genuinely, I was, like, losing motor functions right there. Jesus, you should go get some fucking rest. Yeah, the allergies have been making it pretty hard to stay awake, I'm not gonna lie. My oxygen intake is pretty low at the moment. <laughs> and you know what? This was kind of destined to be a shorter, like, less crazy stream anyway in the first place. Just because EMG and I streamed Ultra Kill today, and that took up the majority of today. So, I do apologize that this stream was a bit shorter. If you do want more content... I do recommend checking out the streams that EMG and I do of Ultra Kill. Uh, we just did one today. He just finished the Wrath Layer, and he's been playing through the entire game on violent difficulty. His first time run through blind. So it's been pretty fun. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and let myself rest my throat a little bit. Things along those lines. Um... I am feeling a lot better than I did last time I live streamed. I was feeling pretty sick last time. I'm feeling a lot better this time around, which means I should be healthier for the next upcoming streams. Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, I will talk to you guys later. Make sure to go down into the description below to join our Discord if you so wish. And I'll talk to you guys later.